from each of the units in Corazon, Luxin, Montevideo Memorial Regional Hospital. Maayong adlaw, Negros Kagbakolod. Yari naman kami para magadulong sa inyo sa isa naman ka-special feature diri lamang sa The CLMMRH Insider. Bilang nag-aisahan niya tertiary training DOH retained hospital sa probinsya, ang CLMMRH nagaulikid hindi lamang sa amon mga kliyente kundi pati na sa palibot o kon kalikasan. Sa masunod nga simana, ang ospital iga-audit para sa isa naman ka-international standardization para mapaayog gid ang amon nga pagserbisyo sa amon mga kliyente. Sa tatlo ka adlaw humalin sa Lunes, iga-evaluate ang kahandaan sa ospital sa ISO 14001-2015 o kung environmental management systems. Ano bala ang ISO 14001-2015 o kung environmental management systems? Ang environmental management system is ay nika sistema sa organisasyon uh, to help protect and maintain the environmental sustainability. Here in Corazon Luxin, Montemibano Memorial Regional Hospital, we follow a standard. This is actually an international standard called ISO 14001-2015. Kag diri nakabuta mo ano ang mga requirements on how to effectively implement this system. Ano bala ang mga dapat mabalaan kag sundon sa mga empleyado parte sa EMS? All of our actions, ang tanan natin ng IHO and our um, activities uh, here in the hospital or wherever you are, has the potential to affect our environment. Kag amo ini ang dapat natin nga panunglumon. Um, our organization has actually conducted an environmental risk and opportunity assessment. And it is interesting kay diri namo na balaan nga our day-to-day -day operations here in the hospital can lead to environmental impacts. One is that it can deplete our natural resources. And second, it can pollute our environment. With that, we have implemented um, and formulated objectives, environmental objectives, um, for us to monitor the effectiveness of our environmental programs. And part of this is that we have to, number one, conserve our energy. Uh, number two, we have to conserve our water utilization. Uh, number three, we have to conserve our paper consumption. And we have to ensure that we effectively manage ang atong ng mga basura, whether it be um, our general waste or our infectious or hazardous wastes. Ang mga empleyado, just like what I've mentioned, um, all of their day-to-day -day activities can, can affect um, our achievement of these objectives, as simple as, for example, sa atong uh, um, energy conservation, as simple na pagpatay lamang sa mga um, electrical um, equipment or pagpatay sa atin ng mga lights um, when it is not in use. Um, we also implemented um, initiated programs like turning off or reduction of our consumption of electricity through um, scheduling of our um, turning on of air conditioning units. Um, for our water conservation measures, we have established hotlines for the reporting of leaks and um, emphasized to all of the employees that dapat report to my mga buba, mga gripo, or mga pipes, uh, water pipes, sa bilog ng hospital. For paper conservation measures here in CLMMRH, we actually use um, scratch papers for our internal communications from the Manila lang kita sa sulod sa hospital uh, and we promote the use of the digital platform or electronic forms um, for our day-to-day -day operations. These are only some of the programs that we have initiated um, to help protect the environment by reduction of waste and um, reduction of our consumption of natural resources. Ano mga benepisyo nga makuha sa CLMMRH sa EMS? Madamo actually ang aton yung mga identify nga benefits sa pag-implementar sa environmental management system. 
dili sa hospital. But I can sum it up into three. Number one, it is a cost-saving measure of the organization. Um, once we use uh, our environmental resources, such as electricity, water, uh, paper, there is an associated cost to it. But if we become cautious sa aton nga paggamit sinin nga mga resources, then we can also save. Second, safety of everybody here in the hospital. Um, kung magdamo ang basura, uh, wala siya gakahaboy sa insyakto nga, nga basurahan or kung hindi siya makwa din sa sulod sa hospital, it can uh, increase the potential for hospital acquired infection. And the third is that um, its benefit is to protect the environmental sustainability. Ano bala amin sa ni Mr. Mirasol sa aton mga followers? On March 28 to 30, 2022, the compliance of CLMMRH to ISO 14,000-2015 standards will be put to test as five external auditors from PUV Nord Philippines will be auditing us against these standards. With this, I urge all of the CLMMRH employees to join hands, to participate, and never get weary in complying with our requirements, protocols, and environmental programs. We have to start the change within ourselves. Actually, the environmental issue that we are facing today is global in nature. And it may seem like it's too big of a problem. But ang CLMMRH, we took the first step to become the solution to this problem. And I hope that all of you will continue to become part of this advocacy. Para sa mga nagakalatabo diri sa CLMMRH, like and follow us sa Facebook, Instagram, kag YouTube. Mga kasimanwa, maski pa manubo na ang aton mga kaso, padayon kita nga maghalong kag mag-observar sa mga health protocol kag magbato na sa bakuna batok sa COVID-19. Kita ay kita liwat sa masunod nga episode. Sa liwat, buligi kami sa gihapon nga maservisyohan namon kamo sang maayo. Ini si Willindy Hiponea para sa The CLMMRH Insider by Horizon.